Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today we're going to rank MBTI personalities based on their mentoring. Make sure to watch each one and find out which personalities are the best mentors. Some personality types are very good mentors and some just are not. Each individual has their own level of mentoring abilities, however based on general tendencies we have ranked each one of 16 personality types in one of these categories. Here's the MBTI personalities ranking based on their mentoring. Number 1. ISTJ the fact that ISTJs prefer to concentrate on their own job can make coaching others challenging for them. They'll feel very differently once they encounter someone who's intelligent and quick to pick up on new information. ISTJs value a strong work ethic and enjoy being around straightforward, efficient people. The ISTJ will undoubtedly be able to teach someone who can keep up with them a lot, and they will enjoy being able to mentor them. Number 2. ISFJ Considering that ISFJs are by nature caring individuals, they can make excellent mentors. Despite not always being gregarious, they are considerate and understanding. They frequently assist people in developing a deeper understanding of themselves and aid in defending that person against harm. ISFJs are compassionate individuals who readily establish connections with others, which enables them to serve as supportive and helpful mentors to those who require it. Number 3. ESTJ Although ESTJs frequently like mentoring others, they function best in an environment free of sensitive individuals. Although ESTJs might occasionally come across as harsh when they are attempting to accomplish something, this doesn't exclude them from making effective teachers. As long as the person is ready to put in the effort to learn and listen, they like being able to come up with multiple methods to explain things. They value hard workers and disciplined individuals, and they'll be excellent mentors for someone who fits this description. If you're enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. ESFJ Because they're sympathetic, ESFJs are better able to understand other people. This aids the ESFJ in making connections with others and learning how to support their own development. ESFJs are great mentors, especially once they have a connection with a student. In order to enhance that person's life and well-being, they will do everything in their power to assist them. ESFJs frequently find mentoring others to be rewarding, and find that it easily comes to them. Number 5. INFJ As long as they can learn to love others and be happy of who they are, INFJs can be incredible mentors. The INFJ is a compassionate and empathetic mentor because of their capacity for interpersonal connection. INFJs are able to empathize with others, which helps them comprehend what that person needs to develop and feel more at ease in their own skin. Since INFJs are so in tune with their surroundings, emotions, they frequently discover that helping others comes naturally to them. Number 6. INFP Considering how kind and gentle they are, INFPs are wonderful mentors. In fact, they'll benefit from having sensitive souls when it comes to mentoring others. People can learn how to follow their hearts and concentrate on what is right from INFPs. They're decent people who constantly try to act honorably, despite the fact that it can be challenging at times. Because they can show others how to be authentic and take the road less traveled, rather than taking the obvious route, INFPs are excellent mentors. Number 7. ENFJ since they like to connect with people, ENFJs frequently feel at home in the position of a mentor. The ability to mentor, guide, and teach someone is something that ENFJs like doing. The ENFJ can relate to others on a deeper level because of their genuine compassion and concern for others. The ENFJ can genuinely benefit from the innate empathy for other people's needs in order to become a more supportive and confident mentor. Number 8. ENFP Simply because they're enthusiastic and sociable individuals, ENFPs frequently make excellent mentors. Although they might need to focus on being a little more grounded, they might find it difficult to remain still long enough to mentor someone. The ENFP can definitely excel in mentoring when they're able to focus on it. They're able to instruct people on how to follow their hearts, even when it can be difficult at times because of their strong moral compasses and desire to do what's right. Additionally, they are passionate about life and have the ability to teach others how to accept themselves more fully. Number 9. ISTP 
Simply because they value their personal space, ISTPs rarely feel comfortable serving as a mentor. However, the mature ISTP can be a fantastic mentor, particularly to someone who shares their interests and objectives. They can be good at taking things in stride and don't mind if others learn at a slower speed than they do, as long as they believe the other person is trying and benefiting from the experience. ISTPs are capable of having great patience. Number 10. ISFP ISFPs are compassionate and like developing deeper relationships with others. While ISFPs do enjoy connecting with people, it can be challenging for them to stay focused. Being free-spirited individuals, they don't frequently like the thought of mentoring someone. The ISFPs' kind nature and capacity to always follow their hearts are what make them capable of making good mentors. Number 11. ESTP ESTPs are sharp thinkers who enjoy learning new things and they frequently have an intuitive sense of what is best for those around them. ESTPs may be helpful and skilled at offering advice, but they may struggle with making their own decisions in life. Simply said, they relish the chance to try new things and loathe being still for too long. Because of this, they occasionally become sidetracked, but if they can keep their composure, the ESTP can be an excellent mentor. Number 12. ESFP ESFPs have some traits that can make them great mentors despite the fact that they get easily sidetracked. They are kind individuals who always act in accordance with their feelings, which are excellent traits from which others might take inspiration. Additionally, ESFPs are adept at living in the present, rather than dwelling in the past all the time. It can be difficult for ESFPs to remain still long enough to truly mentor someone. Number 13. INTJ If they can discover someone with whom they connect, INTJs can make excellent mentors. The INTJ finds it difficult to relate to others and may find that they irritate them easily. INTJs will genuinely enjoy the experience if they do come across someone with whom they connect and who could benefit from their mentoring. When people are responsive and eager to learn, they adore being able to educate them. For INTJs, eradicating ignorance is of utmost importance, and connecting with someone who feels the same way can be a wonderful experience. Number 14. INTP even though INTPs frequently prefer to be by themselves, they can nevertheless be excellent mentors. Finding the proper individual who can be open to them and who wants to learn is important for the INTP. The INTP needs to develop their sensitive side and become a little less wary of people in order to be a wonderful mentor. They might really start to open up to a natural capacity to teach and connect with others as they gain more information. This makes it easier for INTPs to impart their knowledge and capacity to take in new information on others. Number 15. ENTJ People who aren't overly sensitive can learn a lot from ENTJs. They may have a tendency to be harsh, but this is just done to help someone learn how to work more effectively. Since ENTJs struggle with emotional sensitivity, they really do best when mentoring someone who is. When the ENTJ comes across someone who values their directness, it will undoubtedly go a long way. They appreciate having the opportunity to instruct others and appreciate working with someone who's ready to grow. Number 16. ENTP The issue with ENTPs being mentors is that they dislike staying put for an extended period of time. They frequently become distracted since they're constantly on the go. The ENTP can be a terrific mentor for learning and growth if they can concentrate long enough to connect with someone and take the time to teach them. Because ENTPs always seek to push above their comfort zones and challenge themselves, there is a wealth of opportunity for learning and growth. These videos will be really helpful for you.